March 11, 2011, an earthquake followed by a tsunami struck northeastern Japan, damaging the Fukushima nuclear plant and causing the worst nuclear crisis since the Chernobyl accident in 1986. A year after the disaster, the reactors are in what the government and TEPCO, the plant operator, are calling a state of cold shutdown. But the danger and the cleanup continues for the 3,000 people still working at the site. Today, employees work a maximum of three hours per day, either morning or afternoon. But at the moment, no one is working on Reactor 3. Anyone standing inside the reactor building would get 1.5 millisieverts of radiation per hour, which means in just two hours they would receive what the World Health Organization estimates the average person receives in a year. Elsewhere at the plant, each day brings a new task. Our priority today is to decontaminate the cooling water which contains a highly radioactive fuel. But this is an extremely complex process. The area surrounding the plant is deserted, a 20-kilometer evacuation zone. The decontamination of some areas has only recently begun, but environmental activists believe the effort is misguided. Now spending the main resources on decontaminating an area that is already uh, evacuated and where it will be very difficult and very expensive to get those zones back to a more or less safe situation is a total mistake on priorities. We should now help the people who are living today in seriously contaminated areas like between 10 and 20 millisieverts. With a half-life of 30 years, the cesium-137 that has polluted the land as far as 250 kilometers away from the nuclear plant will cause problems for a long time to come.